Judging by the cars at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, technology is in the driver's seat and even on car roofs. That's a solar panel. We're able to fully recharge that battery with just using the sun. This is Ford's C-Max Solar Energy Concept Car. It pairs with a canopy that serves as a magnifying glass. As the sun traverses the sky, we actually have to keep that focus on the solar panels. And the way we do that is we actually use the vehicle autonomously to move and actually keeps it concentrated at all times. As for drivers in the future, well, they're optional because driverless vehicles are here. The Navio from Induct is a self-driving all-electric shuttle designed with campuses in mind. How does the Navio work? It's similar to an elevator, but instead of punching the floor, you hit the station that you want to go to or the location, hit go and start, then sit back and enjoy the ride. Audi impressed with a preview of its autonomous technology that it hopes to deliver within five years. And this car on a public highway is able to use its own radar, sonar, forward camera, and a new laser that's invisible laser light to map out the world around it and drive it up to 40 miles an hour doing its own steering, braking, and accelerating. Another key to making self-driving cars a reality is allowing cars to detect each other and avoid crashes. Ford's vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication technology does that using Wi-Fi and GPS signals. So driving normal through the intersection and whoop. As long as the vehicle knows where the other vehicles are, if there's any sort of collision scenario that might be occurring, then we can provide a warning. Mercedes-Benz showed how cars can communicate with wearable gadgets such as smartwatches and Google Glass. Without doubt, cars are now smarter than ever. For more CES coverage, go to ces.cnet.com. In Las Vegas, I'm Sumi Das, CNET for CBS News.